Hi guys, it's Olivia Cox here for Superdrug YouTube. I'm here with the very beautiful Ella Eyre, who is the new face of Emporio Armani Diamonds Club. Ella, thank you for chatting to us. Thanks for having me. I mean, it's incredible. Uh, Beyonce is the ultimate, isn't she? She's fantastic. She's got, she's got such a lovely presence and she's got a great message and power to women. And, you know, I'm so thrilled that I got to take, take over the, the perfume. So tell us a bit about the perfume, about the notes. Um, well, I think it's quite um, floral. Um, one thing I love about the perfume actually is that when you put it on in the morning, it lasts throughout the day and throughout the day you get different notes come through. So there's, you know, there's notes of um, tangerine, I think, and uh, it's like a tangy uh, note. And then there's also patchouli and then f um, rose as well. So. so it's kind of got a bit fruity Yeah, a well. bit fruity and a bit floral. A bit and you have come bowl. dressed <laughs> accordingly. I try, I try. Um, it depends, really. I think my main inspiration, like ever since I sort of started in the industry, um, I've been so cautious about what I should wear and like, the look that I'm trying to portray. And actually, one thing that I found was the best for me was being comfortable. Like, yeah. what I want to wear, you know, I like wearing heels. I'm not that good in heels. And so if I'm going to do uh, a long day in heels, I can't be the person that, um, like, that I would be usually if, say, yeah. if I was in trainers. So Nike, Air Max, my favorite shoes. I've got tons um, and they go with everything. When I get up in the morning, I set an alarm like half an hour before I actually have to get up. So like I set the alarm. You're a snoozer. I'm like, oh yeah, it's all right, I've got half an hour. But if I've got half an hour to do that, I've got half an hour to get up and do a half an hour like fit session. And so I've just had to start, you know, it is about teaching yourself and teaching your body, muscle memory and all that. And it's just finding things that you like doing. Like, I'm not a big fan of running, um, but I, I have to make myself do it. But you don't have to do that. Like, do things you like doing so it doesn't become a chore. That's, yeah. that's my advice. It does get tough during the end of like a tour, because then by that time you're so I'm tired. So tired. Just get you're home. a bit like, leave me alone. I just want to get home and eat pancakes. <laughs> Is that your cheap food? Mm, yeah, one of many. <laughs> so occasionally though, you do have to relax, I assume. What do you do to switch off? Um, it's so easy for me. Um, I <laughs> love sleep, love sleeping. Um, I just love chilling out with friends like, um, I've got really into like dinner parties. Yeah? Yeah. Do you cook really... or do you attend? Um, no, I like cooking. Yeah? Yeah, no, I really like cooking. I've got really into that. Ever since I, I got my house, um, I, I've become very much a woman in the kitchen. Yeah, um, my favourite dish at the moment is I like doing duck breasts. I, I, I've been watching Come Dine With Me a lot and everyone's always like, oh, duck breasts is really hard. I hope yeah. you get it right. So I was like, right, let's see if it's that hard. <laughs> if they can do it, Ella can That's do my it. boyfriend's favourite at the moment. Uh, the one that is sass queen. What's up hair? Yeah. Is that sass queen? Well, I feel like it is. It's, it's a sassy thing to do, to be like. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Probably right move, because I really love looking at houses at the moment. I've just got a bit obsessed with it. You've got very domestic. Yeah, you, it's like one of those things where you start um, uh, like imagining if you had 50 million pounds, what house could you get? A bit like playing The Sims. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I start planning where all my kids are going to live and how many dogs, and then I need to stop because it gets a bit weird. <laughs> Probably the fat Jewish. Oh, yeah. Because he just says so much stuff that's relatable. <laughs> so relatable, and it's just really funny, and yeah. it's the kind of things I couldn't come up with. Guilty pleasure. Yeah. Go back in time because uh, there's so many things I wish that I'd. Like, um, I could relive yeah. and, and not take for granted like I did at the time. Ah, so not change things, but just go back and really... Yeah, just go and like realise how, how cool that was at the time. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm stopping now. That's so unfair. If, you, if you're my friend, I don't think I'd ever let you do karaoke. Why? Because I'd look terrible. I do it deliberately bad. Do you? Yeah. Oh, you're so kind. It's way more fun. I but spend my else. days singing in tune. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's your excuse I'm anyway. trying to sing in tune. <laughs> Game of Thrones. I've never seen this. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> I only got into it this like month. And um, I was ill for a couple of days and I was like, what can I do that's gonna pass the time? And I watched the entire of Game of Thrones. How many series is that? Like five, six. That's a good binge. It is 
a dick. Thanks, Adela, that was awesome. Guys, don't forget to hit subscribe for lots more of these great videos on Superdrug.